the greatest golfer in the world today, Byron Nelson. 1945 was the greatest year a golfer ever had. He won 18 times. He finished second another seven times. So that's 25 times out of 30 he was either first or second. He won 11 in a row. 11 in a row. And that'll never happen again. Just to have the pressure of you know winning two in a row and then three. But to push that to four, to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, seriously, eleven? <laughs> that's ridiculous. I don't care who they're playing against. That's pretty special. Byron Nelson didn't serve in World War II. Because he had a medical deferment, he had a blood disorder. But he did do his bid in the war by raising money for war relief and for the Red Cross. He served his country tremendously. People want to diminish what Byron Nelson accomplished in 1945. A lot of players weren't there because of the war. But look at the scoring average. 68.33, a good stroke lower than anybody before, ever. He had 19 consecutive rounds under 70. He was just outschooling everyone. But you look at that, that whole year, and it was just he played in 1945 the game as close to perfect as anyone's ever played it. Of Byron's 18 wins in 1945, I don't think there's any question that the PGA was the most important win of the year. Lord Byron had already won eight tournaments in a row, and he's going for his ninth, and he's trying to get it done in the biggest tournament of the year. It was against really tough competition, and it was the only major played that year. Not only is it the only major being played that year, but it's played at match play. It's a totally different thing. You run into one guy with a hot putter, you lose. And he didn't let that happen. Byron Nelson had to run through a gauntlet of tremendous players just to get to the final. Gene Sarazen, Mike Ternesa, Denny Chute, Claude Harmon. But in the 36-hole final, he came up against Sam Bird, the former Yankee outfielder, a surprise pro to get to the final match. Sam makes four straight birdies in the, in the morning to take a two-up lead on Nelson. He had to think that, that he had actually had a chance there for a minute. But then Byron, as he did in 1940, put his foot on the accelerator, he birdied the 29th hole, and he won the next three holes to close Bird out four and three. With this win, Nelson now has won nine tournaments in a row. That week at the PGA Championship, he finished 37 under par for the 204 holes he played. That's amazing. 